Welcome Taurus to your weekend special for July 27th, 28th, and 29th. Alright, so let's see what's going on with you. The overall energy between you and your love interest or current romantic partner. Alright, let's see energy for Taurus and love. So, we do have where uh, both of you might be trying to avoid one another. You might not be ready for commitment or just trying to stay busy until you get other things done. Um, and sometimes it's, you don't really have anything to do. Um, sometimes it's the fact that you could just be trying to keep the paces so that you can keep your mind on something. Off of something that's very heavily for you emotionally. Like maybe a decision. Or maybe um, something that you really don't want to face that may have disappointed you. Or something, a bad memory, anything like that could be going on. So I feel like you might be really trying to stay busy and avoid somebody or something. All right. So, and your romantic partner may be doing that as well. Could be dealing with the Pisces, doesn't have to be. Don't have to be. And uh, let's see, the energy of person coming towards you for Taurus. And I feel that person is, maybe they feel if you're running away from them, they may be heartbroken by that fact, all right? Others of you, because there's someone else in their energy, I feel um, they're heartbroken by that particular person. And they're not able to connect with you right now so both of you are kind of um doing your own thing so i feel like that person is um someone that you have been dealing with maybe they've moved on from someone else and they're heartbroken by it they could have moved on from you if you've been dealing with anyone else and i feel like that's a um a deep issue that they're feeling right now so you know you know what situation that you may be in so that's uh you have to relate it to what you could be going through so let's see what is your response what is your response, Taurus? So, you like, um, you're, you're keeping, your staying true to moving away from something, alright? Um, I feel like if you know that somebody is kind of, um, they've overstepped their boundaries, they have not been doing the right thing, you feel like you need to just bide your time, communicate with friends, or do whatever you have to do. This is still you making a logical decision and um, a well thought out decision about what has happened. So some of you definitely could have told somebody I'm not um, wanting to be with this commitment or this person or the fact that someone told you that and you had to make a decision to completely step away from that person. So that could be something that's hurting for some of you out there. You could be dealing with uh, Pisces and you have Aquarius, Leo, Gemini showing up. So uh, I feel like it's staying, keeping your boundaries and removing yourself from that person. And um, let me see. The what is the your love interest response? Yeah, they might be um, feeling a bit down. You know, sometimes they could be dealing with something that they need to change, like their health, uh, fitness. It could be um, drinking habits, any kind of habit that could be kind of put in the detriment for you know their future and their happiness. It could be some things like that. So delays with that kind of energy. So um, I feel like there are some things to work on emotionally, even financially. Um, it just depends. So maybe overdoing it a bit could be drunk i mean drinking a whole lot eating a whole lot smoking a whole lot um whatever it might be that's heavy for them they could have issues with that so um keep that in mind now um what is the advice for taurus what do we have advice so some kind of truth is clearly out all right and we just spoke about that because the three of swords is showing up um something needs to change and i feel like this is something that may have been going on for some time for some of you when i see these cards showing up that means something has come to a complete halt and a stop now that full moon uh lunar eclipse um in the sign of aquarius is going to be um, very tense for a lot of people um some might feel it deeper than others but i feel like that's where things become reality for you and some kind of truth is clearly coming out in the open so th the advice is to Allow it to come out, you know, face that, deal with it, and then be able to approach in the best way that you can. So we'll look into that a bit more. So the outcome, what is the potential outcome for uh, Taurus? And you have the Six of Pentacles. So this is someone either being able to give to you or vice versa. It could be that someone, it could be like money or something like that, that someone is owing, that someone has taken, or um, they need to confess something about that having to make some changes because of certain patterns that they might have of you know spending too much or doing something that they shouldn't this could be you or your romantic partner so clarify these seven of swords in reverse for uh, Taurus 
so this is yes uh, changing your perspective about something and moving away from it it's almost like uh, breaking free from feeling trapped or stuck or bound by someone we'll clarify one more five four seven or seven in reverse Yeah, and it's it's uh, frustration. Maybe that person, <laughs> maybe somebody that you deal with has uh, anger management issues, or um, when they get intoxicated or do whatever, it has them respond in certain ways. I felt uh, Libra just had this as well, the same kind of um, energy just showing up. So I, I feel um, some of you might just be removing yourself from something that's not very healthy for you, even at this time, or for good, you know, it just depends. Clarify the three of swords for the person or energy coming towards you. Yeah, that person is, they feel trapped, all right? They feel either bound by you. You told them that you don't want to deal with them any longer and they still feel like they they need to go, but they stay, all right? Um, issues are like avoiding a certain issue, bringing up a certain topic and they don't want to address it and you feeling like they can't do that. I feel for some of you, it's like they dealing with the next partner. Um, if they're dealing with the next partner, they told that person, you know, it's over. But they they don't bring up that topic with you to address it with you. And because there's no true communication about it, you have to kind of uh, make a decision to kind of separate it or move on or move forward in some way for some. Um, and some of you, you literally dealt with somebody who's moved on from you, vice versa, and you don't talk about emotional things because you know it's, it's done with for some of you out there and it's making you angry and you know pissing you off with the king of swords energy i feel for some so that could be part of the um issue here so avoiding emotional topics or um, emotional issues so let's see messages for uh Taurus for july 27 28 and 29 Love. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. And that's clearly what's, you know, happening as you maybe just push to do other things and maybe socialize and get away from um, something that's been very tense for you. Um, maybe you need some space or um, maybe some of you could be um, seeking others to maybe get to know somebody. You could run into a romantic partner or something like that. But in the meantime, maybe have um, some fun. All right. So that's the energies for Taurus. And then we have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy for a lot of you with um, the broken heart and being stuck and not being able to move forward. So it's almost like you have to make a decision to let go. Um, yeah, that's very clear here for some of you out there. It's knowing the truth about something, you're angry about it, but then you kind of um, bide your time and maybe have a good time. So that's going to be your reading for the weekend. Tons of love, lots of light too, tons of feeling vibes. I wish you the best. And you can always go to the website, psychiclovehills.com, to schedule something for you. Have a good one.